Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to connect your Depth AI to your PC for the first time and which steps to perform in, in order to see it live in action. Uh, in this video we will follow the first steps with Depth AI tutorials. Uh, you can see it on our docs page uh, and it will be linked in the video description. So feel free to open it up and follow along as we are doing the steps described here. Uh, and starting off with the first step, connect the Depth AI device. We can use the LSUSB command to see if we have a successful connection with the Depth AI or not. Uh, so let's go ahead and type LSUSB rep Myriad as it is right here, Myriad X. And you can see there is no device connected. And if we connect it to our USB port and type this comment again, we can see that our PC correctly uh, discovered the Depth AI device. Here is the uh, correct vendor product ID. And you can go ahead and proceed onward to downloading the demo script repository itself. If you don't use Git or don't have it installed for some reason, you can still use the zip file, but for the ease of use, we'll just copy this uh, git clone command and simply paste it to our terminal, which will copy the depth AI repository itself. Uh, the, this repository contains both the demo script that allows you to uh, access specific features of depth AI for using the single line of code and also contains tools like a uh, calibration script you can use to uh, improve or change the calibration from your device if it uh, faded away after some time or you have a custom setup that you want to calibrate specifically for. Uh, so let's go ahead and access the Depth AI repository. Uh, we can see all the various, uh, various scripts here. And there is also a script install requirements.py. And this script should handle all of our uh, all of our dependencies, but first we should create a separate virtual environment uh, that we will use for our operations. Since we can have uh, in the default interpreter some uh, pre-installed packages, it's recommended to use virtual env, but it's not, uh, not required. So let's go ahead and create a new virtual environment. Uh, Python 3. And we can see we have the virtual environment installed. So source then bin activate. And we just activated our virtual env correctly. If we do now the pick freeze to see all of the installed packages, we can see there are none. So we have a clean environment we can start working on. Uh, now we get to run the install requirements script. So it's Python 3 install requirements. Okay, now that we have our version, uh, our requirements installed, uh, we can go ahead and run the demo script itself. Uh, keep in mind that sometimes uh, if you run it on a fresh uh, Linux system, you should uh, add this udev rules uh, to your system. Uh, it's also checked while the demo script is running. So if you happen to have an error with the USB rules, Let's go ahead and run these two commands. I have them already already in place. Uh, so if we do Python depth a demo pi, <clears throat> it will start the camera. You can see it will click. And you can see uh, both of us here uh, shown on the video. And we can have the detection. We have spatial coordinates, depth preview, and the color preview. And this is your first time that the FA runs. It, uh, it means that the, the, everything was set up correctly. And we can experiment further with the demo. So for example, if we want to access uh, the left camera, so let's run the demo script on the left camera. And you can see that this is the image from the left one. So let's go ahead and check if it's yes. It's exactly the left camera, and we can do pretty much the same for the right one. Yeah, 
this. This is the right camera. And later on, as, as you could see, when we run the default script, it runs the MobileNet SSD uh, network that by default detects 20 different, uh, 20 different classes. So for example, uh, person is uh, class 15, and you can see all the different classes listed down here. So a person, bird, cat, or bicycle, or even potted plant, uh, there's, there's no matter, you can see the example detections uh, present. We also have a variety of different models you can use right away. So let's go ahead and try some of these, like face detection retail. You'll see that the DeFi will download the required blob and then paste it here. And as we can see, it correctly detect detects our, our face. Uh, let's check some other model too. Let's maybe uh, see yellow based network, CNN yellow v3, or maybe tiny yellow v3, since it will be faster and smaller to download. And all of these conversions are happening online using our block converter. So you don't have to have any uh, open Vino installation on your, on your place. It's just a stable internet connection. And let's see, it doesn't detect, but if we move it to, let's say, TV monitor that's on the left-hand side, will it detect something? Oh, it detects potted plants, I believe, or at least some of these. Yes, we have a stable detection of a potted plant. Right here. <coughs> and so if you'd like to see uh, your own model, we also have a tutorial uh, in this section. So if you have, uh, you followed some different tutorial like from TensorFlow, or you build your own uh, detection model, uh, you can easily uh, follow these steps to convert your model uh, and run it on the, on the depth AI. So I assume this will be enough for the, for the first time. If you'd like to have more in-depth view on how to uh, program these, uh, these scripts by yourself, and how to start using our API, you can go ahead and visit the Hello World tutorial in the API sections. Or if you're looking for inspiration, you can also check our example use cases uh, demo, which shows variety of use, use cases we developed in the depth AI. So uh, be sure to check this out and happy coding with depth AI.